Hello, and thank you for watching this video. I'm going to walk through how I built this TV stand. This has a inserted electric fireplace and sliding barn doors with glass panels. A couple shelves in there as well. I didn't plan on making a YouTube video from this, so forgive me. It's going to be a combination of some horizontal videos, vertical videos, a whole bunch of pictures and mostly voiceover so if not all voiceover thank you so much for watching if you aren't already please subscribe so this is definitely one of the cooler projects i've done and i'm really excited to show you how i did it So the first step was purchasing the materials. This is a three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. This is an eight foot by four foot sheet. And this is me attempting to break it down inside my little garage all by myself on this little contractor's table saw. Uh, it is doable. It's not uh, recommended. <laughs> it's definitely been easier with a cabinet saw or with someone helping me. I'm using a little rolling bar and a little pop-up table to catch the offcuts when I push it out. So definitely recommend some help here. It would be way easier if you had a track saw or some other way of cutting this to length. They'll cut it to length in the store for you. It's just a little rough. Next step for me was to figure out how to make these windows. The customer, this is a commissioned project. The customer specifically wanted glass windows, which I've never done before. I've never made a window, never even attempted to figure out how you make a window, but uh, it wound up being really easy and, and turned out really nice. So I'll circle back to that when I show the other two windows I make. This is the carcass of the TV stand. What you can't see is some two by fours under there and then the Baltic birch plywood on the sides, adding in the other supports and clamping it all together for glue. I just glued and brad knot everything. Uh, here I got a little excited and put the TV in there to make sure it fit and then back to the windows. So as you can see, I'm using dowel joinery. I used a doweling jig um, by PowerTech, I believe, clamped everything together with some glue, and it worked out really nicely. Everything is only held together with glue and those dowels, and it's really stable and worked out really nicely. And this is made from ash lumber that I sourced locally. Turns out you can actually go to Lowe's and they'll cut a piece of glass to the exact dimensions you need it. These two guys wound up breaking the piece of glass, so they waited until the, quote, glass expert was in, and they had them ready for me the next day. For the top, I went with a kiln-dried 2 by lumber. Got this from Home Depot, planed one side, and glued it together. Clamped it all up there, obviously, and this is it sitting on top of the base. And here's another angle, uh, getting ready to do the face frame. For the face frame, I used 1 by 4 This is just a pine select lumber I grabbed from Home Depot. Next step is to add the profile to the top. This is an edge profile using a chamfer router bit. That's the profile they chose, the customer chose, and I'm using my Bosch palm router to give it that look. It's a little bit more elegant look in my opinion. Next step after this is to stain it. Here's a stain sample I showed the customer and they actually stopped by in person to select the stain they wanted and they went with the ever popular espresso stain. This is by Minwax. Uh, only needed one coat of that and did a couple coats of polycrylic, which is a clear coat, which will make it stay the same color forever and it won't dry out or fade and anything like that. And it'll keep the top nice and protected. You don't really see the underside ever, but definitely wanna make sure I hit that as well, just in case. And if you're getting some kind of weird angle, Kind of just makes it seem more complete. So definitely don't want to forget the backside. Next, I'm going to lay out the doors, the sliding doors on the front that are also windows. And this is just making sure those are the right sizes. And here we can see the actual TV inside with the face frame now. It fits perfectly. Now I'm getting ready to paint. I have it up on a little table there. I'm going to lay out some plastic everywhere I'm using a paint plus primer with a paint sprayer. Uh, and it works out really well. So you can see how crowded my garage is with everything laid out. I have the shelves and the windows and it's uh, it's pretty intense. <laughs> Stuffing around, making sure I'm not getting paint on my tools or anything that my wife cares about and uh, did wind up getting paint everywhere. So thankful for the plastic. Definitely need a bigger garage. Here's a 
different angle, but I wound up doing two coats. I did sand really lightly in between on the visible surfaces and it turned out really nice. Even with this cheap paint sprayer I grabbed from Lowe's a while back. Definitely want to make sure I got all the angles on the window, so I wound up hanging them up so I could get in all the cracks and there are no spots missing and let those dry. Next is to install the sliding barn door hardware, which I actually purchased off Amazon. I've used this one before and works great. This is what the back looks like with the one quarter inch birch plywood. Uh, everything's painted, just use brad nails and glue. And here's my brand. Thank you so much, Grandma H. This is uh, something I try to sneak in on all my bigger projects. Something that she got from Rockler Woodworking, I believe. So super thankful for that. And here's a super speed video of me actually preparing the glass. So I'm wiping down the glass, cleaning it. It goes right into the actual frame that I built. You can see I already have the hardware on. I'm using some metal clips, just screwing in four of them, hiding behind the actual wood there so you can't even see it. It's really interesting that this was as easy as it was. I'm very thankful, and I, I wound up making three windows in case one broke, but none of them did, so even better. <laughs> Here's a close-up shot of it. You can see the, the clips there and that the glass thankfully doesn't fall out and just how easy it just slots right on to the barn door hardware. And again, I apologize for the tiny video here. I was making this video for Instagram and like I said, I did not plan to make a YouTube video, but it just turned out really nicely. So you can tell now I have a back on it. It's a one quarter inch Baltic birch plywood, uh, just a nice sanded plywood covering the back with a hole for the power cord on the sound bar. And then here, these little clips are holding the sliding barn doors, the actual doors slash windows, from swinging away from the console or the TV stand. So don't do this on all my projects. Definitely wanted to do it on this one to make it more secure. Otherwise, it'd be swinging out like this. So this is a pretty easy uh, install. You just screw them right in and uh, the, the doors slot in perfectly. I think I'm just taking a break and admiring my work here. This is the top and the acrylic, polyacrylic is drying. And there you have it. That's pretty much it. Uh, I really enjoyed building this. I was definitely thankful for the gratitude of the customer. They said they had been looking for this for two years and couldn't find it anywhere. So asked me to make it. It actually provided two or three different pictures and said, hey, can you combine these? And I said, why the heck not? So it turned out really nicely. The customer is very happy and the electronic fireplace is really cool. It has a remote and you can do it with heat or without. You can change the colors and it's really interesting. So they'll be able to remove this from the back. I didn't cover the back where the fireplace is so they can remove it if maybe they change their mind or they want to put something else in there or if they want to transport it. They definitely want to take the fireplace out because it does add a significant amount of weight to the already heavy stand. Anyway, this is this is it. If you have any questions, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Any comments, uh, criticism is welcome as well. Uh, thank you for keeping the comments mostly positive. And thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I'd love to hear your feedback. And thank you so much for subscribing. If you aren't already, please subscribe. And God bless.